Hello, my name is Jackie Hutton from Clinical Trials Ontario. This video will demonstrate how to navigate the Project Treat page of an application in CTO Stream. Throughout the video, we will explore the below features in detail. Viewing forms in the Project Tree, the Actions menu on the Project Tree page, the Form Status Bar, and the Application Form tabs. When entering a project in CTO Stream, the first page that appears is the Project Tree page. The project tree displays all the provincial and center application forms that have been created or submitted for the study. The forms that you see in the project tree depend on the role that you were assigned. To the left of the project tree is the actions menu, which displays various actions that the user can perform in CTO Stream. The actions menu appears to the left of the project tree and contains various action buttons. The buttons that you see at any given time can change depending on the type of application form you've highlighted in the project tree. For example, the Roles button only appears when you have the Provincial Initial Application or Center Initial Application selected. It also depends on the type of role you have for the study. For example, only those with a Provincial Level role can see the Create Subform button on the PIA. You can always tell which form is highlighted in the project tree because it will be colored gray. The Project button takes users to the Project Overview page. The Create Subform button can be used to create a CIA or Post Approval forms. The Roles button can be used to grant a user access to the PIA or CIA. For more information on the Roles button, please see the applicant video tutorials in the webinars and training section of our website. A link will be posted in the description below. The Completeness check button can be used at any time on a form to see which mandatory questions need to be completed. The View as PDF button can be used to generate a PDF of the current application form which can be saved to your computer and printed. Finally, the Correspond button allows members of the research team to send a message directly to the REB of record. Below the project tree is the Form Status Bar, which shows the status of the application form highlighted in the project tree. If the form has not been submitted, it will have a status of Not Submitted. The Actions Required column tells you if any mandatory questions still need to be completed. Clicking the Yes will run a completeness check on the form to highlight any unanswered mandatory questions that remain. Once all the mandatory questions have been answered and the signatures have been obtained, the Actions Required column will change to No, and the form status will say Submission in Progress. The Review Reference Number is a unique system-generated ID that appears only after the form is submitted. Each form submission has a unique Review Reference Number. The Date Modified is the last time that a change was made to the application. Finally, at the bottom of the project tree page is a row of tabs that corresponds to the application selected in the tree. By default, when you select a form in the project tree, you begin on the navigation tab for that application. This tab acts like a table of contents for the form by listing the name and number of each section and how many questions are within each. c Stream uses smart forms, which are dynamic. Certain questions will appear or not, depending on the answers to questions in the preceding sections. Do not be alarmed if you see the same question or section numbers appearing out of order. Next is the Documents tab. This tab displays a list of any documents that have been uploaded to the selected form. You can download the document by clicking the Download button in the View column. Next is the Signatures tab, which displays a list of current and previous signatures and signature requests. For more information on how to request a signature or respond to a request, please see the applicant video tutorials in the webinar and training section of our website. Following the Signatures tab is the Collaborators tab, which displays a list of individuals who have access to the selected forms. The details of their access are also included in the list. Next is the Submissions tab, which lists all the previous submissions of the application form. Every time the application is submitted, it is archived and the PDF version is saved in the Submissions tab and can be downloaded using the Download button in the row of the submission. The Correspond tab allows users to send messages directly to the REB of record. For details re regarding the Correspond feature, see the Correspondence Application video tutorial on our website. Second to last is the Center tab, which shows the name of the site the form is pertaining to. For provincial applications, the name of the center will be provincial. Finally, the last tab in the project tree is the History tab. This tab displays a chronological list of past events that occurred on the application form such as signature requests and status changes. Some events will have attachments that can be downloaded in PDF format. Thank you for watching. 
If you have questions about CTO Stream or are having technical issues, visit support.ctontario.ca to submit a help desk ticket. For more CTO Stream video tutorials, user guides, quick guides, and tip sheets, visit ctontario.ca.